Hey, my name is Matt Schwartz and I am the Welding Geek. On this episode, I'm going to do a little bit of the miscellaneous tidbits that we have left. Um, how to mount my cod piece and my knees. And then I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit on how I made this ghillie cape. So, you want to watch that? Stay tuned to the video. All right, we have our randomness here. This is gonna be like a miscellaneous episode, like I said. Um, I'm gonna try to mount the knee pads, mount the cod piece, show you how to do that, and then I'm gonna finish up making this ghillie suit or ghillie cape for my forest mando. You can see I already started. This is actually for a ghillie suit that I was making. Uh, it's been sitting in a tub, so I'm gonna actually use this for this, uh, my mando build. And then I have some more of this cloth that we'll be sewing together to make kind of a ghillie style cape and I'll show you how I go about doing that. A little bit of sewing, show you how I hook and loop all the little strands, the billion different strands that will go on the ghillie cape. Um, and just simply mounting knee pads and mounting the cod piece. So I'll probably do the cod piece first, so let's get rolling on that. And then we'll move on to the knee pads and then the hard part. So let's do that. Okay, on my cod piece, I put these PEM studs here and here. and Basically just gonna tuck this up underneath my belt and take a Sharpie, find where that thing is and make a little dot and uh, punch a hole there. So, pretty simple. Just gonna position this where it needs to be. I want this lined up down the center and hitting me where it needs to hit me. Does that look all right, Jake? Center dish. Okay. So I left that extra flap overhang. You can see the black dots. Can you see the black dots in there, Jake? Yep, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch those holes in there. And I will grab the same washers and nuts and glue that washer down so it won't pull through. And that should be it for mounting the cod piece. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I just have this leather punch here that I'm gonna use to punch out the holes. Do that real quick. All the way down. And that should be it for mounting the cod piece. Nice and simple. I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna set this aside here to let it dry. Cause this cloth is kind of spongy. I really want that glue to adhere before I start messing around with it too bad. So let's do the knees. Okay, the first thing I wanna do here with our knee pads, they'll be going like this. So I have some elastic here, and I'm actually just gonna, I'm not gonna sew this elastic, I'm gonna punch a hole in it, punch a couple holes in it, and just bolt it down like so. And this is gonna be on the inside of the pants so you don't see the strapping. So I just need to get my length, which I'm just gonna wrap it around my knee. got the two bolts in here that will hold it to the pants but I want to keep it from doing this so when you put elastic on it it just draws it up against your leg nice and tight keeps it where it needs to be instead of flopping around so that's why I'm putting elastic on the back side next thing we need to do before we bolt all this on is mark out the where the locations the whole location will go in the pants and we'll put those in there so I'm gonna do that real quick all right for how I mount my knee pads my PEM studs, same deal, is I'm gonna take a Sharpie and the pad, I'm gonna put it where I want it, take off the cap, and then I'm just gonna press this against my knee. And then when I pull it off, there's two little indentations. The 
about where they should be. And that's it. I'll slip these off and punch those holes in them. And then we'll mount the knee pads. Okay, to, in order for me to poke the holes in there, I'm gonna use this awl, this leather awl. And you have your, your black duck on there. If this doesn't work, I'll try to do it with the hammer and the uh, punching tool, but. Just poke it all the way through. Don't jab your hand. That will suck. All right. Now that we got our holes, we've got our elastic, we've got our knee pad. We will need two washers. And I'm not going to glue these down to the elastic for the time being. I may change my mind on that later, but I like to be able to, all the, the, the armor that I've put on, the vest and all that, I'm hoping all that stuff comes off. It has in the past, I haven't had any issues with the glue sticking to the bolts or any of that, but the knees are something I take off pretty constantly to, so I can wash my pants. That's another benefit of having a two-piece flight suit too, is that you can get it in the washing machine a little easier, I feel like. The jeans will tend to be the more difficult part because it's a woven, woven material and woven stuff likes to go back to where it was when you use it all because it just separates the different threads. instead of putting an actual hole in there. But it makes it so it doesn't rip, rip as easy if you can keep all your threads intact. All right, okay. Whoopsie. All right, this is what this looks on the inside. We have our PEM studs through the jeans, washer, and the elastic here. I do this, like I said, so I can get these the knee, knee pads off so I can wash my pants, but that's what it'll look like inside there. And this will keep the knee pad nice and tight against my leg so it's not just flopping around. So I'm gonna do the other one real quick here and we'll get on to the ghillie suit. Okay, ghillie suit time. This, I'm gonna be winging this, so I'll just kind of try to explain what I'm doing as I'm going. Um, like I said, I already have this awesome hood made. So I'm going to use this. I also had some pieces already cut out um, from the ghillie suits that I was making, just the top. This piece here, I, I'm going to use it to attach it to the hood. And then I just have the chunk that I was cutting off of. And I'm just going to cut probably a rectangle off of it and stitch it onto the bottom of this to get some length out of it because I would like to be able to take it from behind me and wrap it around my shoulder so I, I'm all brushed out across the top of my body and then when I don't want it to be there I can just pull it out and around and it will drop down to my knees or so I'm not sure and then um, I've got some jute thread and I'll show you guys that later when I get this all put together that we're gonna loop through some of these holes to give it that ghillie suit effect so I'm gonna stitch this to the hood first and then figure out what I wanna do with this and stitch that to that. And then I'll get looping and hooking just like on a, on a, um, a Wookiee suit. So I'm gonna get rolling on that. All right, for stitching on this back piece that I already have cut out, um, you wanna use, when you're dealing with netted material, a smaller stitch so you have more of a chance of catching the material because you don't have 100% material here. And I'm gonna start in the middle of this hood and work my way to the outside 
uh, so I don't get it skewed off one way or another. So I'm, this is the center here. I'm just gonna lay this up like that. Find the center. It's gonna be about here. Doesn't have to be perfect because this is not a it's a ghillie suit, so it can be messy. And I am just gonna go ahead and stitch this on here. Yeah, I'll go on like such. I should wrap around my shoulders, all right. And I'll actually tag this onto my armor, probably underneath the armor plates in here. And I can have it down like so. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and figure out the cape piece, the extension. Okay. This is kind of what I came up with. Just a chunk that I cut out of there. Wasn't too critical on the dimensions or all that. It doesn't have to be perfect or messy. It's a ghillie suit. Um, and I'm gonna stitch it along this bottom seam here. And it's just an extension of what I'm trying to do. So I might actually have to stitch, put it like three or four different stitches down this just to get it enough to catch this section to hold on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That should be good enough to hold that in place. The first stitch actually held pretty well. So I'm gonna get my jute thread out and I will show you how I go and hook and loop all that stuff. And then I'll continue on. All right, I have got my four different colors and synthetic jute thread. Um, a couple different greens and a brownish here. Um, and you just basically pick a strand out and loop it through here. Jacob, why don't we get the camera set up to get in close here. Okay, so does anyone that has ever done a Wookiee or anyone that's ever done an actual ghillie suit, this takes a very long time. And this is why you take a single thread, you make a loop out of it like this, and then you just pull. And that's it. Grab a different color. I'm actually probably not gonna do this one super thick because wearing this at a con, having all this extra weight, it'll be super hot. So I'll probably just do enough to get the point across to have it look like a ghillie suit. Now, Jake, can you see this? The little holes. These will be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Might actually have to get a sewing needle to do this one. But you're gonna have to fish it through two holes like that and just loop it through, and pull it down tight. Alrighty, so this is obviously gonna take me a very long time to do. 
I'm not gonna do it on camera. I'm gonna actually just sit down and put it on a movie and get comfortable and just start looping and looping and looping it. And then here in a second like that, it'll be all done and you'll be able to see it. So wish me luck and then yeah, we'll finish the video up and it'll be awesome. So let's do this. Hey, I'm sitting here in my easy chair and I've been wrapping my ghillie suit. I just wanted to share this trick while I'm in the middle of this. I'm not doing them one at a time. This is a tool out of a tire patch kit. And it has this little deal where there's a slot in there. So I've been taking three strands instead of just one. And I've been tucking it up inside this little slit. So you got three strands. And then you just come over here like so. Weave it through two holes, pull it through, and then loop it like that, and then pull. So I've been doing three, so I've been getting a lot more coverage than just with one strand. And this is a tool that says Cooper Tools on it. I think it's out of a tire patch kit. So, yep, I'm gonna keep on going. Still have this amount to go and then I'll probably do some infill as well. So that's it on that. And this is what we got six hours later after looping all these threads on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. informative. I got my cod and my knees all done. Um, we'll have some accessories coming on down the road, but I feel like we're progressing really well on this Mandeville. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please subscribe, like my videos, and give me a comment below if you got any questions. Uh, remember, my name is Matt Schwartz, and I'm the Welding Geek. See you guys next time on The Welding.